Hello Cancer, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first week of May of 2022. Uh, spiritual advice reading in the area of relationships. For this reading I've been guided to the Osha Zen Tarot deck and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Cancer I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Cancer with clearly defined messages regarding the area of relationship. All right, so right off the bat, we have the fighting energy of the Knight of Swords. Uh, so this could be someone who is, the, you got your armor on. This is either you or someone else, Cancer, at the beginning of this week. The first week of May. Someone may come towards you with communication here or you're wanting to go into the direction of another and get to the truth of a situation. But this is about slowing down and freeing yourself from that energy. Yeah, because someone here is feeling indecisive at the beginning of the month of May here. But Spirit is stepping in with the Major Arcana, the Judgment card helping for you to watch for signs and synchronicities before uh, making any decisions. Now in the foundation, we do have celebration, fun. So we have a Cancer here who is definitely standing on a foundation of uh, um, reasons to celebrate some form of emotional fulfillment and the, so there's a bit of a warning here to wait and observe before communicating in any form of way that could be negative in the recent past we had the ace of sore uh, i'm sorry wands energy so spirit is saying we are trying to guide you into a new direction of passion or into the direction of what you are passionate about and Spirit's going to bring you signs this week so that you can continue to celebrate this connection here. So I'm feeling this is an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. So during this week, we have a Cancer who is thinking about one or two different possibilities. One path or another. One passionate direction or the other. And in the actions position, we have this beautiful breakthrough. So this is almost like a realization of not getting in one's way. Now, some of you may be choosing uh, in a situation between an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and a Leo here. But I'm feeling more of the strength, uh, an emotional breakthrough that, you know, He's looking over here saying, you know what, when we connect, there's a great emotional fulfillment and celebration here. And I think Spirit's saying, trust that there will be a breakthrough. Um, but that negative communications here or strong words could close the ability to move towards a possibility of passion here. So in the spiritual strength position here, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So Spirit's really giving this Cancer the strength to focus on um, finances, career, creativity, and to just watch for signs regarding forward movement with another here, because Spirit is going to help you to make the highest best decisions. So the worst decision that could be made is harsh communication here. Trust that there will be a breakthrough and then you can take some form of action steps, maybe closer to the end of the week or the weekend. In the hopes and fears position, we have the self-sabotage card. So the seven of swords is not fearing self-sabotage, but having hope that you, that new possibilities will be overcome and you won't uh, communicate in a way that sabotages this situation because look at this if you hang in there and you are strong it could be around the 8th of may of 2022 cancer where you start to recognize success 
attention and recognition will come if you sidestep energies of self-sabotage. If you instead have hope and trust in spirit, that spirit will bring things full circle and abundance will open up for you. Yeah, it's like career and finance will make you stronger and it'll take your mind off of a connection where there could be energies of self-sabotage in some way. So in a three-card summary with the same Osha Zen tarot deck, we've got the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Star card. So yeah, something may have with the Nine of Wands energies gone from 0 to 10, 9 or 10, in the area of passion. And this Cancer starting to contemplate, should I continue to give to the situation? Should I continue to share my passionate energy with someone whereby I'm feeling rather exhausted? Yes, we've got the moon and the miser energy. So someone is clinging to their finances or closing off their emotions because they're conflicted and they don't have hope. So spirit is saying we're offering you hope, the ability to open up. And trust that as you sit with the high priestess energies, as you observe a situation patiently and not make a decision until you are sure of what action steps to take, trust that you have the magician energy to manifest uh, stability. Okay, so we have a queen of pentacles energy here. This is you, Cancer, male or female. You are flowering and blooming in the area of career and finance. You are flowering and blooming in the area of your heart. And some of you are recognizing that you have mastered the journey of self-sabotage. Compromise, okay? Sometimes the six of pentacles energies, or at least in this deck, this is about... Uh, a complicated relationship and that's why spirit's saying with the queen of cups energies it's time to kind of follow your intuition trust that as you connect with others with the three of pentacles energies as you come together especially in the area of money day to day uh, your own personal wishes are coming true things are going full circle here in the area of finance and career and spirits giving you the strength to remain open to those possibilities that are opening up for you this week so wishes are coming true in the area of money and attention and recognition in the area of finance and career so we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords energy. So acknowledging the truth of a situation that may involve a, an air sign, feminine, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or this is just you, male or female, trying to get to the truth, right, of a new path, a new direction. Yes, there is a time of healing taking place for you, Cancer, here. A time to observe in a very emotionally balanced way. A friendly connection. A connection that feels right. Let your light, light shine here with the sun energy. Walk in innocence and trust that your patience will indeed bring you harmony. With the Ten of Cups, a happily ever after. Someone's trying to find the strength here as they wait for a situation to unfold. But by the weekend, by around the 8th or 9th of May of 2022, Cancer, if you follow Spirit's advice and avoid uh, this self-sabotage uh, energy of fighting, communicating too intensely, you've got the Ace of Cups and a wish come true. So a new path of love and success. Yes, so it is in time, indeed time to recognize all that you've learned in the area of stressful circumstances and trust that your hard work and efforts in regard to a passionate relationship uh, is going to eventually grow, is going to eventually bring you attention, recognition, and success. I'm hearing like financially and personally, and there's going to be a realization that, oh my gosh, I pushed beyond the obstacles and challenges and I moved into the direction of courage. I grew through this experience. Yes. I am freeing myself from guilty decisions, 
of the past. And now the wheel of fortune is turning in my favor. Now, if we react in a self-sabotage way like someone did here in the past, that's what this wheel of fortune is about. Then you won't receive success, right? You'll have to go back and relearn something about yourself. So yeah, keep yourself open to the possibilities of what it is that you are passionate about. Take one or who and take one step at a time, trusting that there will be a breakthrough, especially financially. Give something some time, wait for signs and synchronicities and trust that eventually there will be success unless you get in your own way this week. Closing message, please with the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for this Cancer, representing the first week of May of 2022. So 10 of emotion, we've now seen this twice. Trust Cancer, that life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon for you. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness and understanding and kindness to others. You are rewarded with unconditional love. Beautiful. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via uh, my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the spring special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running. Hold on. I'm being guided quickly to look at the energy of the other person, whereby there is some frustration. Real quick. This is the Gypsy Oracle deck. Yeah, so you're waiting on some form of communication here, trying to get to the truth of a situation, and so is this person. They enjoy the connection to you and with you. It's a caring and kind connection, and eventually, the gift of, of what you've been waiting for in the area of communication is coming. They may be closed off or you're fearing that they're not going to be trusted here. And that's what's bringing on energies of self-sabotage. But I don't believe that they are this. It's in your fears. Yeah, so see by the first, or I should say by around the weekend of, I'm getting 8th and 9th of May, there's going to be a conversation that confirms that this is indeed going to be a successful and uh a successful connection, joyfulness, a breakthrough, that this some form of conversation is indeed bringing joyfulness and success into your life in relation to another. So whatever is worrying you here, try to avoid the energies of self-sabotage. Identify what that is and trust that your sincere efforts at this time are going to lead you into um, a connection of, uh, and a reason to celebrate, an engagement, a deeper commitment, a new home, a new level of partnership here. Just don't get in your own way. Thank you again. Take care and God bless.